Hello, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry that my voice is weird this time because I'm having a flu. <laughs> If you have seen my last couple of videos, you know that I'm currently working on a new collection of paintings. This collection will be called Pieces of Peace. I experimented with my self-made earth pigment paints as well as natural chalk paint on loose sheets of organic cotton canvas. Then I assembled the pieces together into full-grown works of art, which was so much fun. I can't wait to explore this way of working on my art even further, but for now I have to take care of these babies and release them out into the world at the end of the month, which is really exciting. In this video you can witness the birth of a couple of these paintings. I wanted to know how my earth pigments would look like on raw canvas using gum arabic as a binder. I'm very interested in natural materials and I realized that my art is very process driven. There are so many ways that one can paint. Holding a brush and having a canvas on an easel is very common. But I just love to find many different ways of creating marks on my canvas that feel natural and beautiful to me. What happens if I paint on a dry canvas? What happens to the paint when the canvas is already wet? How will it be different when I use my hand instead of a brush? There seem to be endless possibilities and combinations of ways one can paint. I really enjoy playing around with that and finding a way that suits my needs at the very moment.
In my last video, I was working on the biggest painting of this collection. And I promised you I would show you the final result in this video. So... I was having a photo shoot in a gorgeous home with a professional interior photographer. It was such an amazing experience seeing my work in such a beautiful space. I hope to see you again in two weeks when I can show you more of this exciting day. This will also be the day that I release the paintings. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.